Hey y'all, welcome back to the See Y'all Life. As liveaboards, one question we often get from people is, how safe do we feel living on a boat in a marina? Well, the answer is very safe, especially when you have thunder and lightning. <laughs> and a ferocious guard dog. In today's video, we're gonna show you all the tools and gadgets we use to make sure safety and security come first aboard Sea Y'all. Of course, it goes without saying that we lock the doors. When we're not here, we lock all the doors to the exterior of the boat, and then at night, we also lock our cabin door. Even though that seems like a no-brainer, we know a lot of people who don't lock their doors. We also keep our dock box locked, another thing not everybody does. There's the guard dog again, always on duty. The other thing we have is a lock box. So when we have vendors or mechanics come on, we don't just hide a key, it's locked, and we give them the code, which we can change at any given time. Plus, if we're locked out, it's always there and handy. One of the main ways boats get stolen is because boat owners keep their keys in the ignition on the boat. Not a very clever idea. Another great thing about this boat is even if they find your keys and they break in your boat, this boat has an engine shutoff switch on both sides, which they will probably never find if they do find your keys. Now to talk security cameras. For the indoor, we went with the Blink Mini Indoor. It's about 25 bucks at Best Buy. It's web-based, so I have it on my phone, and it's motion activated. So if anybody moves in the cabin, it activates my phone immediately and gives me an alert. Are you finding this content to be helpful? If so, we'd love for you to hit the like button, and that way YouTube will share it with others. For the outdoor security cameras, we chose to go with the Arlo system. A little bit more expensive, but weatherproof and motion activated as well, web-based, so I get it on my phone. Um, it's pretty sensitive too, so if there's any movement, it goes off. You can adjust the movement on it, and it has a, um, a hub. It updates the firmware every now and then, so been pretty satisfied with that. So we have one in the aft and one on the bow. And of course, the Arlo stickers help just a little to let would-be burglars know that they might be recorded. Our boat is in a really safe part of San Diego and I feel very comfortable walking around even in the evening with Rosie, but it's safe to just have some pepper spray on hand, especially if it's later in the night and I have to take her for a walk. Just gives me a little bit of extra comfort and security. Another security device we have is a taser. Again, I bought this for Andrea when she walks Rosie late at night, but it's nice to have on hand. It's just another um, thing that you could use for a security device. We'll put the link to this in the description below. I'm not gonna go too in depth about firearms on a boat, but they are legal in California to have firearms on a boat. But remember, take a gun safety class if you're gonna own any firearm, and also make sure you keep your firearms locked up, especially if there's small children around. Another thing that helps me especially feel safe is that there are a number of liveaboards um, on this dock. We have them all around us, and we watch out for each other, and that is what community is all about. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see y'all soon.